chosen vessels what's really good i want to talk to you all about something i'm not sure if you've heard of before but god bless me to bring it to you today <clears throat> what i want to discuss today is when it comes to dealing with god i want you to put all your eggs in one basket and count your chickens before they hatch okay when it comes to god i want you to put all your eggs in one basket and count your chickens before they hatch because God is a miracle worker. God makes the impossible happen. Whatever you think is too good for you, whatever you think is too good for God, it won't happen. There's nothing too good for you. And there's nothing th too good for God to give to you. I mean, repeat that. There's nothing too good for you. And there's nothing too good for God to give you, to give to you. What you have, my nose was itching. What you have to do is you have to be aware that God wants to give you the kingdom, okay? But you have to seek him first. You have to seek the mindset first that will allow you to even see yourself being, doing, and having it in the first place. Seek you first the kingdom of God and all these things shall come to you. You have to be able to seek the idea, seek the mindset of having it. You have to be able to seek the reality of yourself having it. When it comes to this manifestation thing, you can't just, I have this, I have this, I have this, I have this. I feel I have this. I feel I have this. I have that. What you have to do, right, is you have to see yourself with it, feel yourself with it. But not only that, you have to be thankful for the reality of it. This is powerful right here. You have to be thankful for the reality of it. Call forth those things that are unseen as though they were. You're calling forth things that are unseen, okay? You're calling forth the things that are unseen with these two eyes, but seen with the spiritual eye, okay? Call forth the things that are unseen with these two eyes as though they were seen with these two eyes. So you're calling forth what you could, you could see it, just not with these two eyes. You're looking at it with your spiritual eye. So what you're doing is you're calling forth the reality that you see for yourself in the spirit realm. The, you're calling forth the reality that you would like to manifest, okay? Call it forth. See yourself being the one, okay, who is living the life that you want. Don't see some rapper driving the car you want. See yourself driving the car you want. Some people are fascinated with a little baby, and it's, it's, it's good to be fascinated with famous people, okay? Because you should use, famous famous people should be your superhero as far as you getting what you want. Use them as an example, okay? Use their energy to get what you want. They work towards getting what they want. They got what they want. What you have to do is you have to be the one who sees it for yourself. You have to see you in that brand new car. OK, it's cool to see little baby in it. It's cool to think about all these stars and all the stuff they have. But you have to be the one to see yourself with it. Otherwise, you won't have it. OK, there's nothing too big or nothing too great for God. Whatever you see yourself being able to have, whatever you see yourself being able to make real for you in this reality, you can have it. But you have to be aware of the reality of it. OK, you got to call forth those things as though they were. And then you have to be aware of the reality of you having it. You have to see the reality. You can't just see yourself having it. You can't just see yourself. Be aware of the reality, okay? Be aware of the reality. Being aware of the reality is being aware of the lifestyle, okay? The money in the bank account. The amount of cars in the driveway, okay? The nice home. The nice car. The lifestyle that goes with it. The career that goes with it. Everything that goes with it. The wife or the husband or the kids or whatever you want whatever you want to see whatever you want to see happen in your reality that's what you have to call forth call forth that nice car call forth that boat call forth that house call forth that new career okay call forth um call forth those streams okay call forth those likes call forth those views whatever it is that you're trying to attract for you in your life say you're or, or say you're a music artist or something say you um you need views for your music or, or on your uh your soundcloud or your instagram call it forth okay as long whatever as long as you're doing righteous you're not uh putting anything out there to hurt anybody you're not putting out anything to destroy anybody's life 
you know, the universe will help you push that. God will help you push that. OK, even if you're telling your own story, you know, even if it's not the best, but it, it, you, you, you worked your way out of a situation. You, you I mean, These rappers aren't at fault, man. You can't fault these rappers. Yes, they're, they're spitting spells and stuff like that, but it, it's not their fault. You know, they they took they just took the job. They didn't make the job description. They just took the job. So the person who made that the description to the person who's going to be at fault is the person who made them have to make music about the guns and the drugs and the, the people who actually put that in the community and stuff like that. Those are the people that are going to be at fault in that situation. But when it comes to God, I want you to put all your eggs in one basket, y'all. Put all your eggs in one basket. It's nothing too difficult for God. You want to be rich? God will help you be rich. You want to start a business? God will help you start that business. <clears throat> if you want to be successful in life, God will help you become successful. All you have to do is believe that you can do it. There's nothing too great for you. There's nothing that you can't achieve. All right. Only thing that's stopping people is the way they think. People think that they can't have a million dollars, so they don't have it. You have to you have to see yourself being the one who has it. You have to see yourself having it. You have to like in your mind's eye. You got to see yourself having it. See it in your hand. Well, if if you had a million dollars, what would you do with it? Do you even know what you would do with it? Do you know what it would feel like to have that money? Do you know what it would look like to have that money? Do you know how you would? Do you know how you would feel? Literally, it, like to the depth of your soul. Do you know how you would feel? How happy? How excited? Do, have you thought about how it would feel to wake up in the morning? Have you thought about how it would feel to go out to lunch with that much money in your bank account? Being able to just go here and have lunch and not have to worry about it because you got it like that. Okay, that reality can be yours. All right. When it comes to God, put all your eggs in one basket and count your chickens before they hatch. Because God, yo, know, God makes miracles. God works miracles. Okay. You think that dream can't happen? God says it can. You think that business can't happen? You think that's not a good idea? God says that business can happen. God says, I wouldn't put that idea in your head if it wasn't a good idea. Most ideas aren't good ideas is because people attack them half-ass. You can't attack no idea from God half-ass. God gives you downloads. Those ideas that pop into your head, those thoughts that pop into your head that you say, oh, that'll never work. Oh, I couldn't do that. That was your that was your your money making idea right there. That was your gift. That was that was your that was your thing to make money off of that you were going to be great at. And you just talked yourself out of it. You told yourself you couldn't have it. You said it was too good for you. You can't talk away and talk down the things that you ask God for help. And then when the idea comes to you, when the help comes to you, you don't even believe in your ability to do it. There's nothing too great for does there's nothing too great for God. When it comes to God, put all your eggs in one basket and count your chickens before they hatch, man. This is the only this is the only thing we could do this with. Because when you pray about stuff and you work towards something, it's gonna happen. It's gonna work. All right. Well, to to, to it may not be to the degree you want it, but it'll to some yo, you'll be better off than you were. Okay? You'll be better. God doesn't give you more than you can handle. All right. So if you don't if you don't end up getting to where you want to get where you thought you should be, God will still put you in a better place than you were. <clears throat> He'll put you where he thinks you should be and you'll be happy because it'll be it'll be right where you ought to be. And it'll also be in alignment with where you're trying to go. All right. When it comes to God, put all your eggs in one basket and count your chickens before they hatch. I'm telling you. Because that's the only <clears throat> that's the only person that you could put that amount of faith in. God loves it when you believe in him. He loves it when you put faith in him. He's like, ah, there's my humble servant putting all that faith in me, believing in me. Call forth those things as though they were, okay? You need to have faith that you know it could happen without a doubt. You need to have faith that as soon as you put that prayer up, it's happening. You walking tall, walking proud, got a smile on your face. Ah, uh, yeah, my my answers, my, my prayers are going to be answered. My blessings coming. I know it is. I'm good. I ain't got nothing to worry about. Oh, you got this. Uh, you just got a bill. Oh, okay, that's cool. It's actually a check in my mind. I still actually have money to pay the bill too. Thank God in me. But you know, I'm gonna see it as a check. All right. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you for my mail. You have a nice day. God bless. It's all about your mindset. You don't have to be fake. You don't have to be. Uh, I mean, you you don't have to be fake. You can act however you want. Just be. Don't be rude to people. Be polite to people. You know what I'm saying. You don't gotta be a jerk. You don't gotta be weird about it. But. However you choose to handle that situation so you can stay positive, okay? So you can keep the light, 
All right. If you got to be rude, hey, be rude. You better keep that light. Don't let them take your light now. But you need to have so much faith, right? That people will think you're crazy. That's how much faith you need to have. Man, that person believes in God a little too much. You know, that's what they that's what they need to say about you. All right. That's what they need to say about you. Be like, oh man, his faith is a little too strong for my taste. <laughs> there goes that strong faith girl. She's always believing in God and, and believing in herself, and she thinks she could do anything. Huh. That's what you want people to say about you, homegirl. That's what you want people to say about you, homeboy. Oh, God, here he comes, the prayer warrior. Always making, always praying God for something big. Why not? Why not, man? God makes miracles come true, okay? God makes things happen. He's the only person that I'm putting my trust in to help me make it happen. Nobody else is going to help me make it happen. It's me and God, and that's it. I do the work. I put it out. God does the rest. It's just like sending your prayer out. You pray, you want to manifest something, you see yourself with it, you push the, the, the vision of the reality and the feeling of having it and being it and doing it. You push that out into the universe and it'll come back to you. You'd be surprised. Don't worry about how, don't worry about when. Just know that God's going to make it happen because he's your friend. God always makes miracles for his chosen ones. All right. You're, if you're a chosen vessel, you should know you, but you're already blessed. You think just because God blessed you once, you know, he won't bless you again? God is the supreme blesser. He's the supreme miracle worker. Okay? We talk, this is a divine, this is a divine uh conversation here. All right. You are divine. You have a divine inheritance. All right. You know how rich kids they have an inheritance? Well, because you're a child of God, whether you didn't know it or not, you're a rich kid. Yeah, you, whether you didn't know it or not, because you have God, you're a rich kid, man. You're a rich kid. You was made, you were made to lie down in green pastures. All right, you were made to prosper. You weren't made to suffer. Okay, There's nothing to nothing. God can't handle y'all. Envision the reality. If you see a reality for yourself, or you got a whole house made of gold, you see that for yourself. Okay, even if you get a brand new mansion and only the steps are made of gold. Wouldn't you be happy? I know I would. I'm like, wow, man, look at this nice crib. Big old mansion with the gold steps. I asked for a gold mansion. God gave me some gold steps. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. Got gold steps in the front and the backyard. There's a pool in the backyard, and it overlooks the trees, and the scenery is amazing. It's wonderful. I love waking up, looking at it every day. That's how you got to feel about the reality that you want for yourself. You see how I just hopped in that thing? I saw all that, okay? It's called visualization, y'all. And once you keep doing that, once you keep practicing that, man, like, yeah, I, I literally was, I don't care who thinks it's crazy or not. I was literally just there. And when, when it actually happens, when it manifests, I've listened to so many stories where people were like, we thought you were crazy. And the person was like, well, I'm rich now. <laughs> I laughed so hard when I heard that because I felt it because like this was early on in my journey when like, yo, man, yo, you ain't want to be around me early in this. You, ain't, you did not want to be around me early in this journey. I can have it. I have money. I'm manifesting greatness and prosperity. Like, bro, I was, man, people was up looking at me like I was nuts. I didn't know how to, I, yeah, I was just so hyped to have found some new information that will help me change uh, my situation. So I was just real excited, real happy, real positive. I was like, yo, man, I got this whole, I got these affirmations. I got this game, you know what I'm saying? I get to improve my life. I get to change how I feel when somebody tries to deposit some negativity in me. I get to banish it and go back to feeling good. I don't got to walk around feeling uh, angry and frustrated anymore just because a hater was hating on me. Wow, wonderful, you know? And man, like people, I was a little, I was like real hype about the affirmations early on, man. And but it, it all works out, you know. It's all it's all good practice, and the universe hears them anyway. And the universe likes it when you get animated, when you're saying your affirmations, when you feel it, when you think about it, when you see it. You know what I'm saying? Universe loves all of that. So with that being said, y'all, when it comes to God, put all your eggs in one basket and count your chickens before they hatch, okay? Because God will never leave you without what you need. He'll never leave you by yourself while you're working on your dream. 
he'll never say, ask, and it will be delivered. As ye ask, what did he say? As ye ask, as ye, as ye shall ask, so shall ye receive. As ye ask, so shall ye receive. As you ask it, so it will be given unto you. Whatever you ask for, whatever you pray for, if you believe it, you will receive it. That's in the Bible. Whatever you ask for when you pray, if you believe that, you will get it. If you believe, you'll get it. Don't stress. Don't strain. This should be a comfortable process. Okay? This should You shouldn't have a, a headache by the time you're done putting all your eggs in one basket with God. Okay? You shouldn't have a, a headache after you visualize your reality. It should be easy. Just like when, when you were a kid and you got a bad grade in school and it was easy for you to see yourself getting in trouble. You saw yourself getting yelled at by your parents. You saw yourself being anxious and almost pooping on yourself on the ride home. You saw your parents pulling a belt off and beating the crap out of you. You saw all that, okay? Now you need to use it for something good. We've been you, 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 I'm telling you, whether you use it, whether you know it or not, you are using visualization, whether you know it or not. And you probably, if you've been manifesting bad things in your life, you haven't been using it for good. And what you all you have to do is just like you've been seeing all those negative things in your life and you thought that as normal up until this point. Now what you need to do is see a whole bunch of positive stuff coming into your life as normal. OK, good things are supposed to happen to you. Wonderful affirmation I learned along my journey. Say it every day. Say it every hour. Say it every minute, every second. If you have to good things are supposed to happen to me. Because I'm a child of God. Don't be afraid to put in the comment section and say, good things are supposed to happen to me because I'm God's child. I want to thank you for watching this video. Hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button. And you already know I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. GCV out.